Here's a look at the latest COVID-19 numbers for Knox County. There are just over 1,000 active cases right now. There are 42 people in the hospital. 606 people have died in Knox County because of this virus. Also new here at 4 o'clock, a safe and useful place to learn. The idea is what Knox County School Superintendent Bob Thomas says is behind two new school projects. WAT.com reporter Austin Martin is at the alert desk for us. So Austin, what schools are impacted? Yeah, but we're talking about Lonsdale Elementary and Adrian Burnett Elementary School. People in the community and school leaders broke ground on both projects today. The school replacements all come as a part of a five-year capital improvement plan, which actually includes three new schools. On the list, Lonsdale and Adrian Burnett, as well as a new school, Northwest Elementary. Each school will cost roughly $20 million. The new Adrian Burnett Elementary School will be built along Brown Gap Road, while the new Lonsdale Elementary School will be built near the existing structure. We talked with school superintendent Bob Thomas who says the project is overdue. You may remember last year we told you about multiple safety issues at one of those schools. Uh, yeah, it's been around a long time. I think one of the principals said maybe back in the 20s and with an addition maybe in the 50s and you know the facilities we've had some we've had some problems. We had some problems last year with the facility and uh, carbon monoxide and things of that nature. So uh, the building is safe. I mean we've got things in, in place now for the building to be safe. So I don't say that to alarm folks that, hey, this is a dangerous building because it's not. But it's just, it's just uh, um, outused its usefulness, I think, is the best way to, to explain it. Now both schools will be roughly 94,000 square feet, complete with four teacher work areas, two special education classroom suites, gym, a music room, art room, a library, and a storm shelter that will house nearly 1,000 occupants. The new Lonsdale site will have a 2,000 square foot recreation center and office space for the city of Knoxville's Parks and Rec Department. Now both schools are expected to be completed by the fall 2022 semester. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the progress. At the alert desk, Austin Martin, WATE.com.